Hello friends, welcome to Samsung and for just more content like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about exponents, aka indices as some people like to call it. So let's assume that assume that there's you're a child, you're a kid, and and the weird teacher pops up into your classroom and he says as you he orders you to write 3 multiplied by 3. You know, like you don't need to calculate it. So you pick up your pen and write 3 multiplied by 3. Then he says to write 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So write it down. And then he says the, the unbelievable. He says to write 3 times 3 times 3 and so on 27 times. So, you know, like, I can't, like, give that big of an example, so I'm not writing it now. Now, so, so, you might want, after you write that, 3 to the 27th power, oh, wait, I did actually explain it, then, oh, what, you might think, what is the shorter way of writing it? There is one, and that's exponents are, and that's what exponents are. And like multiplication and repeated addition, like, let's say 2 times 4. Let's say 2 multiplied by 4. So, 2 multiplied by 4 is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 8. But, 2 to the power 4 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16 double it's like double so you know like don't actually follow this step to so 3 multiplied by 3 will be right as 3 to the squared 3 squared or 3 to the second power that small number is called power and 3 times 3 times 3 will be 3 to the third power or 3 cubed that is called 3 to the power of 3 and and this number and any number raised to 3 might be even called that number cubed just like we saw with our other example which is which was squared in the case of 2 squared so so what about our long three times three times three and so on twenty seven times? That we just written as three to the power twenty seven. Yes. And now let's talk about its look. We'll just take a small example like three to the power five for this case. So now when you see big a normal size number or having a smaller number right right above it then you know that that number is an exponent exponent and this big number is also called base this normal size number and the small number should be run to the top and something confusing is going to happen after you understand this fact that exponents are just like regular operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division they tell us to do something with numbers which we totally understand now but the the confusing part comes when when we see this this is the symbol for addition, this is the symbol for subtraction, this is the symbol for multiplication, this is the symbol for division. And there is a lot of other symbols for these, well only for multiplication and division, but where is the exponent symbol? Well, this is getting a bit tedious now, so I'll write it again. 3 to the 5th power. So. The thing is, we could recognize this. We don't confuse it with the number like a number like 35. 
unless you have really messy handwriting like like this like this and when okay you have really messy handwriting like this when you might confuse it with the number 35 so you need to improve your handwriting in that case so now but there's also another bit of confusion that 3 to the 5th power this this number when you need to do the multiplication well actually i'm not talking about that when you do the multiplication and you give give, give an answer like this hashtag i just put over here i don't I, i'm not going to calculate the answer right now this number is called the power of the exponent. This is the base and this is the exponent. This is the exponent. I'm just going to write expo here because I don't have I don't have space. So I'm just going to write it like that. So this is 3 to the 5th power. But when you hear terms like 3 to the 5th fifth power or 3 to the power of 5 then you might then it seems like the exponent is also the power which makes it a bit of confusing which makes it confusing so it it is unfortunate for us that these that these terms got a bit wonky to use so that's it for my exponent episode well actually not but because we didn't talk about one thing which is let me just get rid of this i'll just get rid of this first and that thing is that thing is negative exponents in our in one of our previous videos we talked about that we'll we talk we told you that we will do a video about negative numbers which we haven't did yet but we will do in in the future today we're going to talk about negative exponents as well so you know, like negative numbers first let me just give you an introduction of the negative numbers like Here's a number line. You always are not want to start from zero, but it doesn't. Yes, from zero to twenty is to one, two, three, but there are other numbers behind zero. Negative one, negative two, negative three. And those are negative numbers. This is zero. There's like the between of negative and positive numbers. <coughs> so so these numbers are like negative three negative three this three we pronounce three and this on the negative side which you just pronounce as negative so now let's get diving dive into it let's now dive into the actual concept so the actual concept is of negative exponents first let's see a negative exponent like this 3 to the power negative 5. Now, what is this in? So, what is this? We can, like, multiply. We could multiply in 3 one time, 2 times, or 3 times with itself. But could we multiply 3 by negative 5 times with itself? No, we can't. But negative exponents does a different thing. It is, it, so it is, it is just one divided by the absolute value of three to the negative five, three to the power negative five. And you might think, what is absolute value? Well, absolute value is a thing we'll learn in the future. So you just need to remember that absolute value is like just converting a number into a positive number which might sound boring to understand but it has real it is a real important concept so now from now it is one over 
3 to the power negative 5. Then that is the value of 3 to the negative 5. So, now how do you actually calculate exponents? I'm not talking about these, nor these negative exponents that we call that, not these. We're talking about positive exponents, like 3 to the power 5. So, how do you calculate these? Well, does these help, these numbers help, these exponents, to act when you need to actually do the multiplication? Well, yes and no. No, because when you actually need to do the multiplication, then you need to actually really multiply 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. You need to actually do this. You don't need to like do this. That's the same as doing this. So that's the end of our video. So please make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe for just more content like this, which I told you earlier. And please like our video and like the, all the others. So bye bye.